500 other guys in chairs, then the, the walking people are the oddballs. And you're all, you got something in common, you're all military. Brent King is one of more than a dozen Inland Northwest athletes participating in the National Veterans Wheelchair Games, July 13th to 18th in Spokane. And I was on the 40-foot tower, and I was 22 feet is what the accident report says, and there was a heavier lieutenant below me, and when he got off the rope, it whipped, and it sounded like a cracked whip, and uh, I woke up 21 days later. I was on the back of my head and shoulder, and it broke my back below the last rib at T12. I knew him in college, and then uh, then he fell on his head, and then he called me one day from the VA hospital and said he was in the VA hospital and couldn't walk. He makes uh, most normal people look like they're all lazy. Got me on a BB gun when I was five. Um, got my first deer when I was 11. This year, King is competing in golf, the slalom, and air guns. And you can do up to five, but with with helping set some of this up and some of the things I have to go to, I don't have time to, to do that. I want, I want this to be a good event for everyone that's coming to Spokane. And the spectators will get more out of it than they ever put into it. It'll be something different. Quad rugby seems to be a, a big one for people who want to watch with the, the, the pine tar in their hands and the volleyball and they're smashing it up out there. King says the annual event has helped him, but he's mostly in it to encourage newly injured veterans to participate. You know, it's a great stepping stone. My wife sees the morale boost when I go. But really, for these new injuries, I know what it does for them. I just hope this is a good step in their life to help them give some confidence back. They can live as normal a life as they choose to, to live.